Hey folks. Hi. Am I audible to you guys? Hey folks. Hello. Am I audible? You guys. Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Kya hal chal? How are you guys? Give me a yes in the chat. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Vinay. Hey, Govind. Hi, awesome, awesome. Jaldi, jaldi, jaldi. Video ko like karo tab tak. Let's like the video and we will start the AMA in another one minute times. Ek minute mein shuru karenge. We will start by, I will start taking questions from the chat. So put your questions on the chat. That would be lovely. <coughs> Hi Nikhil. Hi Pramat. Hi Akshay. Hi Vinay. Bahut sahi, bahut sahi, bahut sahi. So start by push, putting questions in the chat. Awesome, awesome. Hunt Mobile Gaming, bahut achha. Thank you very much. Please like the video. Hey Aditya, bahut awesome, bahut awesome. Start by putting questions in the chat and I will pick one one question from each of the... Hey Crazy Cars, awesome, awesome. Hey Ayash, amazing, amazing. Bahut badiya, bahut badiya. Aur batao, aaj kya Sunday ka kya plan hai? Subha subha product management ka AMA attend karna hai. Aur uske baad, phir kya plan hai? What's the plan for the entire day? Webhav, in order to contact me, you can drop me a text on LinkedIn. I will try to respond back. Please give me the context. And I will. So Webhav is saying that he has an interesting problem which he wants to solve. Gamer Gary, how do you set GTM strategy if the segment is new? We don't know what, what will be product market fit. Okay. 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 Awesome. Awesome. So there are a bunch of questions that are coming across. So let me start in another 30 seconds. 30 seconds or wait karte and then we'll start. Awesome. Can I, Govind has asked, can I, can, can a UI UX designer become a product manager? Awesome. That is something that we will answer. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. So let me quickly start, right? So the first question that I see is asked by Govind. And this is the question that Govind has asked. Can I, can, can a UI UX designer become a product manager? So Govind, the thing is, Anybody can become a product manager. So if anyone says that you need a certain kind of background, it might aid to become a PM, but anyone can become a PM if you have a problem solving skill set. The best way to showcase that is by starting by building a portfolio, right? So what I mean by that is a portfolio is something that I, let me just quickly share my screen and you tell me that whether you're able to see my screen or not. Oh, unfortunately, there is some issue with my browser. But yes, so what I'm trying to put across is anyone can become a product manager. By The best way to become a PM is by starting by building a portfolio for yourself. What I mean by a portfolio is pick any problem from the industry, try to solve it across uh, using the same principles of how you write a PRD, which I have explained in the previous video, that by what is the problem, why is it necessary to solve it, then what are the top solutions that you think about from the solutions? Then what, what solutions will you recommend from the recommendations? How will you measure those solutions? And eventually what are the pros and cons of both the solutions? That is something that you will have to make multiple case studies. So the great part about building a portfolio is two, three fold. One, if you build a portfolio, you can become a PM without a PM experience. So a lot of people ask me this question that we don't have product management experience, how we become PMs. You don't need to have product management official experience. What you need to start by is pick any problem from the market. Like for example, you want to become a PM in Swiggy. Let's assume that's the goal, right? What you start by is by picking a problem in Swiggy. Like there is there is one problem which I've always wanted to solve, which is Kabhi bhi Swiggy mein tum ek order mein multiple restaurants ko add nahi kar sakte. Right? So pick this one problem that like, for example, you have a party at your home and you want to order biryani and ice cream. You need to do two different orders unless and until it is given by the same restaurant. Right? So how do you effectively pick up that problem and then slowly and steadily 
इवेंचुअली मेक इट लाइक की ओके आई वॉन्ट टू सोल्व सिंगल ऑर्डर मल्टीपल रेस्टोरेंट बुकिंग प्रॉब्लम what is the problem why is it necessary you can say it is necessary because a lot of times there is there is bulk ordering that is done and because of that bulk ordering right we need to wait for multiple delivery partners that's the why then you come up with what is the solution that you suggest from the solution what you suggest what exactly how will you measure the success of that solution that's the fourth part from the for, uh, after measuring the success of that solution you will write the pros and cons of because operationally it is heavy and things like that and you make a prd like that i'm trying to share my screen but if i am not able to uh, no yes i am able to yes the browser can try accessing a different screen just a second yeah just a second. Just a second. Extra camera, video file. Just a second. Somehow I'm not able to share my screen. Yes. So let me quickly show you what exactly would a portfolio looks like. Yes. Is my screen or uh, visible to you guys? Give me a yes or no. Is my screen visible to you guys? I don't think my screen is visible to you guys. Is my screen visible to you guys? Can you can you give me yes or no? Awesome. Awesome. Give me a second slides. this is what you call a product portfolio this is what you call a product portfolio i am just sharing it across i'll make it slightly bigger is my screen visible are you able to see that shravan's product portfolio so see i have done multiple case studies like do a competitor analysis for what fix awesome so you see this is the portfolio and you can check out the portfolio i'm sharing it in the screen with you guys so i have stopped sharing i have just put my portfolio right i have put my portfolio you can check it out this is the portfolio that i have just put it across just check it across go through it and you will have an answer around it awesome awesome okay what's the next thing what's the next question that i had so nikhil is your question answered sorry uh, the way that who was who asked this question hmm. ha govind is your question answered awesome okay got it so so the next question that i will ask pick up is is it necessary to do an mba to get into product management again mba might help but it is not a necessary thing if you want to do some product management what you can start off with by building a product portfolio which i have already spoken about mba might help mba kyu help karta hai let me ask you this question to you why does an mba help an mba help because you do case studies day in day out and because you do case studies day in day out your product sense product thinking ability improves right and if your product thinking ability improves logically you would be become a great product manager like for example if you there is a case study that uh, how do you make a online tuition class solution in india right mba mein jab tum ye case study karoge right like for example if i again share my screen think of it like this for example you had a case study like build a scalable value driven tuition offering supplementary education product for the indian ecosystem so what you did is you clicked here and you started doing a prd like what is the objective why build a tuition class offering then what is the core need overcome the challenges in the solution system and you similarly you do a complete case study i will not go through the complete case study right now but 
this is what you do so an mba helps you do to do these case studies and because of these case studies you are fundamentally able to solve any product sense problem so if you want to do you can do necessary certifications there are multiple certifications like there is pm school there is product school even i am launching my own cohort very soon that can help you build that product thinking acumen so it is not necessary do an mba for the wholesome experience don't do an mba to become a product manager do an mba because you want to learn you want to build network you want to you want to learn multiple aspects of business that is why you should do an mba it is not necessary but it is something that can help you ideally if you want to become a pm you can become a pm just by looking at the jo youtube channel pe videos diye hain they are more than enough you follow you build a product portfolio you start applying you should you reach out to the right people that is more than enough nikhil i hope that answers the question awesome okay okay so mmdb asks i don't have any experience as a product manager but i do have an internship can i become a product manager with no experience again i answered the question it is not necessary to have an experience as a pm in a company the important part is that you build your product portfolio you share it across with the right influencers you start writing on linkedin writing on linkedin is equally important if you start writing on linkedin most recruiters will try to understand that what exactly is your thought process so one of the things that i keep telling people that if you write writing builds a very strong structure of product acumen it also builds a very strong profound way see let me ask you this interesting question okay let me ask you this question tell me if i ask sukanya tomorrow or or mukesh today right that tell me your history of the last 5 years can you will you be able to answer very easily like tell me tell me your history of the last 5 years sab log tum log kya karoge na you will you will you will tell me 5000 structures right ki mere papa ne ye kiya fir maine engineering ki fir maine engineering ke baad kuch aur kiya fir then and then i became this that etc way b a b c d right but what if i ask you that tell me your history in 500 words will it be hard give me a yes or no if i just tell you tell me your 5 years history in like 50 50 words will it be hard give me a yes or no if i tell you that priyam or mahesh tell me your history of what you have done in the last 5 years in 500 words give me a yes or no will it be hard yes so it will be very hard right but but if i tell so think of think of linkedin like that linkedin mein aapki 1300 character ki limit hoti hai there is a limit of 1300 characters and if you if you go beyond 1300 characters you will not be able to post right so the point that i'm trying to put across here is that whenever you have this process of writing in constraints makes you a better thinker in life like if i put it, put a constraint on you that write me a prd in 100 words it's going to be very 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 hard for someone to effectively put that prd in 100 words so everybody has to be very structured very thoughtful so start writing on linkedin for two reasons one it allows the recruiters across linkedin to know you that who you are it will build, build something like an online resume for you second it builds your product thinking ability so do that thing that would be very very interesting and simultaneously make your portfolio share it across with the recruiters and you will be able to get a pm job at least your chances of getting a pm job drastically increase okay let me take the third question now okay so crazy car has written how to build portfolio as a complete fresher who who started learning pick up any problem man crazy car pick up any problem like in my portfolio i have picked up so many problems like for example build a better version of flipkart right start with the problem break it down i have shared my portfolio i am again sharing the portfolio with you guys i have shared my portfolio share it across here it is again go through it and try to solve it exactly yeah awesome awesome okay now the next question that i have is someone who has experience so nikhil i have taken your question how to customize cv as per jd uh, anak ashish matlab this is a very random question i have already done so many posts on linkedin to how to make the right jd please go to the lecture and you will be able to find there is a, also a lecture how to become a product manager from scratch 
how to how to solve a product management interview that is also on the channel go and check it out it is done it is done yeah okay got it anakin gaming i have enrolled for your cbc but now now they are saying you won't be there yes i won't be there i am starting my own cbc very soon and i will put it across on linkedin and people can join and i will teach from fundamentally from scratch from intro to product management to how to become a great pm exactly in 6 weeks i am going to start that by june second week types because i am trying to figure out the right uh, conditions and the right kind of people so i will definitely start that and it will be viable for all product owners aspiring product managers pms and everyone whosoever wants to become a pm in their life this will be a very good thing but one thing that i want to be very clear about just one thing that i want you you guys to be very very clear about is that i am an educator i don't promise jobs i am going to teach you how to become a great pm that's that's how i will help and i will help you in getting a job help you but that doesn't mean that i am sone ki chadi hai कि कि मैं बोलूंगा तो नौकरी लग जाएगी ऐसे नहीं होता तुम्हें खुद मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी यू विल हैव टू वर्क हार्ड अबाउट इट सो सुनर और लेटर वेंस आई वंस आई लॉन्च माय ओन सीबीसी दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन एजुकेशन सो सिक्स वीक्स ऑफ हार्ड वेरी वेरी कंसोलिडेटेड एफर्ट सो दैट योर थिंकिंग इंप्रूव एंड वंस योर थिंकिंग इंप्रूव यू बिकम ए पी एम बाई डिजाइन ऑसम ओके सो हाई श्रवन आई एम करंटली वर्किंग एज अ बी ए बट वॉन्ट टू शिफ्ट टू ए प्रोडक्ट एंड रोल ओके फेयर इन एफ okay so again veshank same structure please go through the channel there are multiple videos which will help you to move across how to write a prd how to do things around that so i will start my own cbc and if you are very very convinced see ek cheez main clear karna chahta hu yaar tum sab ke paas yeah so ek cheez main bahut fundamentally clear karna chahta hu dekho yaar if you if you work very very hard the youtube channel is enough for you to become a product manager the youtube channel is more than enough but you will have to do your assignments yourself you will have to verify them you will have to uh, work with other people in the community you will have to put effort so youtube channel ka content is more than enough for you to become pm anywhere the cbc is for people who need hand holding and help i am saying if you are truly dedicated from the bottom of your heart you would be able to go to any pm job only by the content on the youtube channel itself but if you need help if you need structure if you need one one on one mentoring then you should enroll for the cbc as simple as that yeah awesome okay so the next question is vinay ha has asked must have and good have technical skills for a good pm got it got it so vinay a, a pm does not well ideally you don't need to be technically very profound right but the basic things that you should fundamentally know as a pm is that you know a little bit of system design that how systems are what is front end what is back end what is an api you you should know how the internet works that how does it happen you should know what is what is an api you should also start know start knowing which tools should i use which kind of uh, uh, operating which operating system works is android good for me is is uh, uh, ios good for me you, th that is something that you should know how a kernel works so five four five points what is the top os that you should use and why you should use it what are progressive web apps what what is a native app what is a hybrid app third how the internet works fourth then basics of system design and the fifth part that you fundamentally should have some sense of data science ability also that what is uh, uh yeah what what is specifically like something like a etl solution what is the data warehouse what is normalization of data some basic skills of sql that what is um, how do i query from a sql database then how do i effectively fetch data and then basics of machine learning if you also know like some algorithms like random forest some algorithms like supervised learning and supervised learning so i will cover that all as part of my cbc but i will also do a session on youtube that what are the core tech skills of a pm vinay does that answer your question give me a yes or no give me a yes or no vinay does that answer your question give me a yes or no awesome 
I think Vinay dropped off or something like that. Oh, awesome, awesome, amazing, amazing. Next, so Surya Kiran Bumalli has asked, what are the things a software intern can look to become a PM? Like, what are the key aspects one should imbibe as per the PM role? Okay. So Surya Kiran has asked, I am a software in intern, and what are the key things that I should imbibe as a PM? See, the first thing that you should imbibe is always try to understand the why part of the problem. Why, why is a PM bringing you a certain feature? So if you understand why that feature makes sense, then you will be able to better understand that why the business wants it. Once you have understood the why, you should also have a discussion with the product manager that what are the pros and cons of the solution? So that like you can say that, let's assume I am a PM and I say I want to implement search on a platform, right? Then you should as a software engineer say that what kind of search and why should it make sense? So for example, if I say I have 10,000 courses and I want people to search is across and, and our search ka CTR is very less. Then you can say, then you can suggest one or two solutions that if I make an easy solution, something might happen. If I make a hard solution, something might happen, right? So you should understand the why part of the problem, the pros and cons of the problem. You should have detailed understanding of the flows, what the PM asks, and you should understand that why it makes sense for the business and the user. If you are able to understand all of those, those aspects, then you will be able to make a better choice as a technical person to, to if effectively implement a solution or implement or suggest a solution which makes sense. Surya Karan, does that answer your question? Awesome. Okay. So Vaishank has asked, Shravan, at present, the client that I'm working for is in this part. So this client, how can I become product owner as I'm working for a BA for them? Again, Vaishank, it's not about the client. What you have to start understanding that the difference between a BA and a product manager is that most of the times, BAs are dictated things, right? The, already the requirement is written. You just have to write documents on top of it. As a product owner, you have to go to the client and understand their problem. Like, for example, the difference between a BA and a product manager is this. A BA, a BA me, basically business analyst, is given a problem. That this is your problem. This is, this is the problem. This is the requirement. And you just have to write the document. As a product manager, you don't effectively take requirements you understand the problem so the turbine guy would say that my problem is that the turbines are not working properly or we don't have data to measure th that how the turbines are working so you as a product owner would understand this problem put a solution the solution will be designed by you not the turbine people so you will put the solution suggest it to the to your client the client should say yes and then you implement it across the difference between a product manager and a business analyst is this a business analyst is already given requirements and you just have to write on top of it a product manager is not given requirements a product manager is taught problems that this is the problem that the solution is given by the product manager itself so go to your client Try to talk to them, try to understand what their problem is, what their requirement is. And then from that aspect, suggest a solution, verify those solutions with the client and then implement it across. That will be a very good way to effectively become a PM. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Let me take the next question. I'm trying to take as many questions as possible. There are like tons of questions. Hi, Shravan Bhaiya. How can I change my profile from business analyst? Again. I have already talked about is build a portfolio. Building a portfolio is the best thing, right? Okay. What, what to post about? Okay. So Crazy Cars has asked what to post about on LinkedIn. See, product management has bunch of things. Like if you solve a new problem, you can post about the new problem. So Crazy Cars is asking, Ki, what should we post about things in uh, on LinkedIn? See, you can post anything, right? Starting from what you learned, any case study that you have done, like what did you learn from this session? Make a summary of this, post it across, right? Or you should talk about whatever, like how to write a new PRD, how to, what is product analytics, any, any, any new feature that Swiggy has released, which you found useful. So anything you should post about anything which you find useful regarding startups, regarding products, regarding product management, start posting it across, tag me. I would be able to give you some amount of reach and you will be able to effectively build an acumen. So you see a lot of people who learn from my videos and post it on LinkedIn. Do that. Do that consistently. See, posting on LinkedIn is not important. Consistently doing it is important. Yeah. Got it. Then what's the next question? Okay. Okay. 
how to keep up the motivation and focus on the process when you are trying to break into the pm role so abhi has asked how to keep up the motivation and focus on the process when you are trying to break into the pm role see man i'll tell you very honestly i know pm roles are hard and i understand that i genuinely do right so what you have to understand is always keep telling that the interview is not about the job it's about your own focus it's about your own acumen lot of times when i used to go to the interview i always used to say mere ko interview acha karna hai nothing else matters and one more thing that i want to understand is take the feedback from the interview as a feedback not as an opinion lot of times people say that you don't have product thinking you don't have a product acumen but once you you have to understand you have to try to take like agar main tumhe kal ko ye bolu that you are not a good product manager you could not solve product sense so the feedback is that your product sense thinking is weak the feedback is not that you are capable or not right generally log kya hota hai ki interview mein people take feedback on their own capability please don't do that it doesn't matter meri life mein bhi bahut shit chal rahi hai lekin i am believing in myself that i am a good educator and i want to help as many people as i can i genuinely want to that is the reason i'm doing this live i'm being very honest trust me the problems that i'm coming from in spite of that doing a live is very hard but my responsibility as an educator is to teach as many people as possible and i really really want to help as many so the motivation that i'm bringing from is that i am a good educator and i want to become a I really want to teach people well. Second, so you should start thinking that I can become a good product manager no matter what anyone says, and just give as many interviews as possible A, B, C, D, and learn from each interview. If you give fifty plus interviews or ten plus interviews, sooner or later you are going to get into the PM job. Take it from me; it's a promise that I'm telling you. Sooner or later, but harna nahi hai. Bilkul bhi harna nahi. Harna kyu hai yar? किसी के कहने से अगर दुनिया लाइक इफ समबडी सेज यू आर नॉट अ ग्रेट गाय डज दैट इवन मेक सेंस किसी के बोलने से क्या होता है बोलने में तो कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे लोगों का काम है कहना सही बात है सो प्लीज जस्ट गो इन टू द इंटरव्यू विद द थॉट प्रोसेस दैट आई वांट टू गिव माय बेस्ट एंड आई वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम आई वांट टू डाइसेक्ट द प्रॉब्लम एंड विद एवरी इंटरव्यू गेट अ फीडबैक फॉर योरसेल्फ दैट वेयर कैन यू इंप्रूव इफ यू कंसिस्टेंटली आफ्टर एवरी इंटरव्यू आस्क फॉर फीडबैक गेट द राइट काइंड ऑफ फीडबैक एंड यू कंसिस्टेंटली स्टार्ट अप्लाइंग ट्रस्ट मी विद इन 10 टू 15 इंटरव्यूज यू विल गेट अ पीएम जॉब इट्स अ प्रॉमिस ऑसम समझ में आई बात गिव मी अ यस और नो ऑसम okay so abhishek singh is asking what kind of interaction a pm does with engineering on a daily basis and please help us understanding the basic understanding of tech architecture development methodology monolithic see iske liye abhishek mujhe ek lecture hi karna padega i will have to do a lecture on tech for pms so i definitely understand that tech for pms is a topic that i will do i will do it on youtube itself i promise so but daily interaction mein kya hota hai daily interaction of a pm with engineering is primarily in in a sprint when a sprint is going on right there is something once a sprint is going on there is something a process called called a stand up stand up basically means it's a 30 minute call with tech to understand that where they are facing problems is there a flow which they didn't, didn't understand is there a requirement which they are unclear about is there something where which is a blocker like a developer is busy a developer is unwell he is not able to put it across is the product on time so all of these things happen in the process of a stand up and in a stand up yahi hota hai generally stand up 30 minutes ka hona chahiye lekin kabhi kabhi wo extend bhi ho jata hai but 30 minutes mein you are trying to answer these questions that is any problem faced by the tech team is there any requirement which they don't understand is, is there any <coughs> bottleneck from a business side all of those things are typically answered in a stand up once the sprint gets over the final stand up may fir qa hota hai after the development is done then there is qa testing that happens after testing there is uat uat basically means user acceptance testing which a pm does after the pm gives nod on uat then you release it on production awesome awesome okay the next question is So Shashank asks, "I am working as a QA in a unicorn startup. Want to shift to PM role in my own company? What can I do, and how do I approach?" See, Shashank, if you want to become a PM in your own company, 
the starting point what you can do is go to your manager and say that i have certain ideas which i want to implement which i feel business will be valid upon so all of the times a pm in a sprint has some items of tech debt tech debt tech debt i am again writing it t e c h tech d e debt this is what you some items which yeah some items which are which are very very important right so these are some of the items that you can effectively go to your manager ask your manager and say that i want to implement a certain feature where i want the complete autonomy so take a very small feature it can be a very very small feature that you want to do across put that story put that feature there and then specifically tell your manager that i want to implement it completely and if your manager take a very small feature and if your manager allows take it from the starting from the inception from the conception from the total to from from what should the feature do what is the value of that feature and simultaneously write a prd of that feature and then go to the product management team and if you are able to implement two three small features everybody in the company will understand that you have the acumen to become a pm you have the acumen to and then you can go to the product management team and ask them that i want to move into a pm role i have implemented three features completely end to end and then you will be able to move into a pm role awesome does that answer your question give me a yes or no awesome 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 ठीक है so the next question that i want to pick is i have started as a pm in an edtech startup my responsibility is mainly around content creation is this pm yes see asking for content right basically if you are a pm in an edtech startup your responsibility is to increase engagement for the end user that is far more important right your responsibility is to increase engagement your responsibility is to drive content completion rate so this is also product management but you, everything see any kind of product management it ties to ties is tied to the end user if it's tied to the end user you will eventually be able to understand that what value i am trying to deliver to the end user and if that value is getting delivered in a metric driven manner in a kpi driven manner that is product management itself writing prd is not product management it's a part of product management anything that you do for the end user and try to build features on top of it for the end user it will be something that that is considered as product management itself awesome piyush does that answer your question give me a yes or no okay shashank i have answered your question already okay okay if you don't have experience in a particular domain yes i have answered this question i will not repeat it again that is something that is do pms need to write how to write prd okay so maltesh has asked do pms need to know how to write prd drd frd brd or just knowing how to write a good prd should work what all documents should a pm be good at writing see honestly all of these documents are just part of the business process it's not something that you have to know and exactly see writing a good prd basically means writing a document in which a product why it's its requirement why it is needed and what kind of effect it will have on the end user is very clear is very very clear right so if you know how to write a good prd you automatically know how to write a better frd uh, how you automatically know how to write a good brd because a product manager lies at the intersection of business tech and design so if you know how to write a good prd you will automatically understand how to write a good brd drd frd which i have already explained in the previous video so just try to understand that what is the need of see kisi bhi document ko likhne ke panch is six there are six pieces to write a document the first piece is what is the objective of the document second is why should it be written third what is the core need fourth that basically what are the solutions fifth how will you measure those solutions sixth what are the goals Seventh, what is the operational checklist, which I have already covered in the previous video? Awesome. Vebha, what's your question? I need to understand. Hello, Bhaiya. Okay, how can I become an official one? ये थोड़ा सा यार. Okay, awesome. Uh, so the next question that I am asking is, would would be glad to have some tips as a fresher APM at an AI based AP uh, AI based B two B org. First, find few. the uh, first few days practice one should follow again so i'll just quickly share a link give me a second
just for a example so this is the link folks this is this is the first 90 days as a pm i just shared it across the first 90 days as a pm so this is a question that i want to put put across that kumar dashwe uh, i think this was ha uh, ankit you can follow this link and it will give you a very good sense of what to do in the first 90 days as a pm awesome okay next is sir i want to start as an apm intern how often does so parag adlakha has asked how often does a pm need to write a prd see when you are an apm or a pm when it's slightly individual contribution in the hierarchy of roles it starts from apm then pm then senior pm then in general group pm or principal pm right so in general as the hierarchy of roles is goes from bottom to top when you are a pm you need to write prds very very effectively almost for every feature when you are a senior pm you might not you might write one or two prds but remaining will be wrote, written by a pm but ideally at every level a pm should know how to write prds at every level a pm should know how to write prds right i personally wrote prds even as a principal pm i personally did because i liked writing it it gave me a lot of clarity lot of structure and it also gave me a lot of clarity on what business wants so ideally you should write prds but you generally write write prds when you are apms pms even at senior pm to a certain level after that you don't after that you don't awesome okay okay so vaibhav agarwal is asking i am asking that in the future can we switch from product management to ux designer roles it can be the other way around also yes very much very much you would be able to do it yeah awesome so tina has this question shravan i am working as a qa automation engineer and want to switch switch to pm role how to get interview calls as in how to create the resume again Tina, I have answered this question in another video where how to create resume for a product management interview. I've already done that. Please go there and try to understand that what exactly it needs. And if there is any doubt, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I will be able to help you. There are a lot of posts on LinkedIn which I have already done. So the YouTube channel will be able to give you a lot of. There is a video, complete video. I am. Let me just quickly search if I can find the video. meeting yeah so tina here it is the link this is the link tina you can follow this and you will be able to make the right resume for a product manager awesome got it so this is an interesting question the roles and responsibilities of a pm see the roles and responsibilities of a pm include it starts from understanding the problem right then secondly building working with the design team to come up the right design for the problem third then how do you write a prd for the structure problem see a role and responsibilities of a pm come from starting from understanding the problem then working with the design team to build the design then working with the tech team to come up with the estimates writing the right prd which is very very important then also in the sprint help in the execution part if there is any problem the tech team faces right how do i solve that problem how do i enable unblock the tech team to eventually move to a point where specifically they are able to implement that solution after you implement the solution the success metrics look at the kpis of the solution and after you look at the kpis of the solution that whether the product is successful or not you should know how to measure it in terms of analytics so starting from why second writing prd third working with design fourth working with tech fifth unblocking tech sixth um implementation at the right time executing it at the right time and last what are the core kpis of the solution so that you can measure the success and failure of the product awesome awesome got it just crack then uh, apm interview from being a training team lead how can i again nemesis i have given the video link the first 90 days as a pm you can check out on the channel you will be able to understand what exactly you should do okay which certification is valuable to show on linkedin for trust of recruiters pm school product school or product folks growth junction see it is not really dependent on certification man it is certifications are to learn not to showcase trust to recruiters 
recruiter will only add value when you understand how a business works how a product works so you can take any certification which works with you but ideally it is the mindset that you should build and that is where i am going to help you guys that is the, that is where i consistently keep telling ki apna portfolio banao usse badi koi certification nahi hoti there is no certification bigger than a portfolio so i am trying to tell you please focus on the portfolio and that is something that you should fo- that you should that you should build across take any certification to learn not to showcase it to recruiters awesome so maltesh is asking is there any daily exercise you recommend to improve one's critical thinking or decision making ability the best tarika maltesh the best solution is pick one product every day which you like and try to do a decon of it just do a deconstruct what i mean by deconstruct guys in order to build ability to become a great critical thinker take one product every day use the product in the b2c domain and try to do, decipher where there is maximum gap or what is the problem in the product which you would want to improve if you consistently do that for 30 days and probably one product each day it will take you half an hour it will take you half an hour you will automatically be able to improve your critical thinking ability okay so webber is asking bhaiya can you suggest some books to develop product thinking i am very weak at it okay so one of the good books that i recommend is the lean product playbook this is a very good book by dan olson and another book that i would also recommend is called creativity dotting So please check it out these two are very good books very good books awesome got it the next question ankit is asking ankit is asking how flexible it is for an apm pm to switch between industries it is very flexible man it doesn't matter as a fundamental as a product thinker as a fundamental product thinker it is very i have shifted six industries in eight years so i have started from Uh, e-commerce then logistics then real estate then streaming then education in upskilling segment then education in k12 so i have shifted across multiple segments so it is it is absolutely flexible as long as your product thinking is good yeah yes maltesh the cohort will start in june second week that is something that is there yeah okay when we write live prd in another document shubham i will do a session in which i will do a live prd that is something that i will be able to put across awesome okay so the next element that the next question that abhishek is asking is which product analytics tool most of the companies use see you can use clevertap you can use uh, uh, amplitude lot of companies use mixpanel all of these tools ek session mai product analytics pe bhi karunga there will be one session which i'll do on product analytics so at that point of time please please so i will be able to do that session in one or two weeks that is something that i'll do awesome so sumit paul is asking should i follow your youtube videos on youtube or for understanding pm or is it or is it enough see you just have to follow the videos but you have to put effort see my youtube videos will give you content will give you content but mehnat tumhe khud karni hai कंटेंट से पीएम नहीं बनोगे यू हैव टू पुट योर एफर्ट सी देर आर टू वे वन यू फॉलो द यूट्यूब वीडियोस एंड सॉल्व द असाइनमेंट्स बाय योरसेल्फ सेकंड यू जॉइन द कोहर्ट दैट आई हैव इन द कोहर्ट यू इफेक्टिवली एंड आई विल हेल्प यू अक्रॉस इन सॉल्विंग द कंटेंट एंड बिल्डिंग अ राइट स्ट्रक्चर फॉर इट ऑसम बट यूट्यूब वीडियोज एट लीस्ट फ्रॉम अ कॉन्टेंट परस्पेक्टिव आर इनफ टू क्रैक एनी पी एम रोल ऑसम ओके folks we are all, almost at the end of 45 minutes i'll take two more questions and then aaj ka live hum close karenge but please like the session please abhishek nandi has asked something okay i will i will answer abhishek i will do that so please please like the video as much as possible please 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 and please share it across whatever you have learned from today please share it on linkedin as much as possible tag me and share it across whatever you have learned today awesome 
So the next question, Abhishek, I will ask answer Abhishek's question currently. So Abhishek Nandi is saying currently I'm working in networking, but I'm interested in product management. How can I prepare thinking to buy the cracking P interview book and prepare? Would it help? Yes, it will help. Again, Abhishek, it's a repeat question. I would say there are multiple videos on the channel which you will be able to understand what the PM role is. Go through them and you will be able to crack the PM role if you put your heart and soul into it. Right. Last question that I'll take. Okay. So this is a question from Nikita. Nikita, please don't spam. I know. I, I saw your question. I saw your question. Sir, I have no prior experience, but I've done any side project. Nikita, please don't spam. I will put block the user. Understood. Awesome. Okay. So the last question that I will take is, give me a second. I'll try to take Okay. So Vishal Singh Mehra has asked a general query. There is so much PM gyan on LinkedIn for an aspiring PM. Should I consume every tips or should I focus on practical learning? See, practical learning is the best way to learn. There is no other way. See, follow as many leaders as you follow on LinkedIn or YouTube, but practical learning is not good. So try to do decons, try to do the lectures that are there on the channel and put it across and, and try to make a portfolio. Making a portfolio is the best thing possible, right? Weber, what was your question? Can you repeat your question? So Nikita Sony has asked, sir, I have no prior experience. I haven't done any side project, no engineering background. I'm a fresher. Can I handle such questions during my interview? I have an APM interview. See, in order to build your product thinking, you have to put efforts, right? Unless and until you do multiple products. See, there are three kinds of questions that come in an APM interview. First is called product sense. Product sense is primarily that how do you effectively make an idea into a comprehensive solution? And we will do a video on top of that. Second is product execution. There is a problem which is already given to you. Like the DAU of, let's assume for example, Facebook have, the daily active users of Facebook have fallen 10%. How will you debug that? That's called product execution. And the third thing is called product strategy. That what is the top level strategy solutions? That is like, what will be the top three metrics that you would want to change for Zomato? I will do one product tear down in future, right? So, if you do these three questions and try to practice as many problems, you will be eventually be able to solve as you will be able to crack many APM, any APM interview that you want to try for. Okay. So the last question that I will ask. Weber Worth has asked, hi, an accidental PM to go to an official one without technical background and MBA. Again, it is given on the channel, Weber. All your questions are given on the channel. Please, please follow the channel. Channel pay 99% questions are solved. Just go through across. Right. Cool, guys. I think I will stop here. It's already 50 minutes. I don't want to take any more time. I hope you like the session. If you truly like the session, please like the video. Please share it with your friends. And secondly, please start writing what you learned on LinkedIn. Give me a yes if you like the channel, li like the session. Awesome. I really, really want for all of you to start writing on LinkedIn, whatever you learned. And please and please, if you like the video, share it with your friends as much as possible. Thank you very much. Did you like? I am just closing the channel now. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.